Today, we're delving into some intriguing financial developments that have unfolded recently, leaving us with more questions than answers. Strap in as we explore the unexpected twists and turns in the financial landscape, from canceled FDIC meetings to major banks entering new territories. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. Let's kick things off with a bombshell drop on November 16, 2023, when the FDIC suddenly scrapped a planned public meeting on a special assessment for bank failures. The meeting was set to address critical issues, but with little explanation, it was abruptly shifted to a private session. The FDIC's silence on the matter has left many scratching their heads. What could prompt such a sudden change in transparency? We'll dig into the possible implications shortly. Moving on to a surprising announcement from the Financial Industry Clearinghouse, FIC, which revealed that starting November 24, JP Morgan LLC, the largest bank, would become a sponsored member of the Government Securities Division. This move comes on the heels of Citadel Securities taking a similar step. The intertwining of major financial players in new arenas raises eyebrows, especially in the wake of Jim Chanos shutting down his hedge fund and converting it into a family office, notorious for its lack of transparency. Shifting gears to the world of cryptocurrencies, let's explore the fascinating dynamics of smart derivative contracts and their potential impact on the market. The pre-funding of derivative contracts, a practice observed before major stock runs, has piqued our interest. How does this relate to the events surrounding AMC in June 2021? And could it be a factor in the SEC's push to regulate crypto? We'll connect the dots and discuss the implications for hedge funds and banks. Speaking of AMC, there's a buzz around the talks between FTX and Bitpanda about issuing AMC tokens backed one-to-one. -one. As we navigate through this cryptocurrency terrain, it's essential to note the ties major banks have with Bitpanda, as evidenced by Silicon Valley Bank's payment to Bitpanda on January 11, 2022. This revelation underscores the deep connections between traditional banking institutions and the evolving cryptocurrency landscape. Now let's dive into the controversial world of failure to deliver FTD data. The recently released FTD data for the first half of October paints a staggering picture, especially concerning AMC. The numbers are astronomical, leaving us to wonder about the true extent of AMC's failed deliveries. The SEC's decision to keep certain information private adds fuel to the speculation fire, reminiscent of past instances where transparency seemed elusive. In conclusion, the financial landscape is undergoing seismic shifts, from canceled meetings to unexpected alliances and controversial data releases. The mysteries surrounding these events only deepen as we connect the dots. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.